Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. State lawmakers are considering proposals to require licensing and inspection of large-scale dog breeders in Hawaii, also called puppy mills. Right now, large dog breeding operations are not regulated in the islands. KITV 4 is Kyoki Kerr joining us live now with the story. Kyoki? Well, Laura, the first puppy mill proposal is getting a hearing tomorrow morning at the state capitol. Animal advocates say this is a problem in Hawaii. You might remember one notorious case from five years ago. These are the photos Hawaiian Humane Society investigators took of dogs at a puppy mill at a home in Kahalu'u back in 2005, where about 60 dogs were taken into custody after being kept in filthy and crowded conditions. Dog breeder James Montgomery's children were also seized by child welfare officials because of the unhealthy conditions in the home. He later pleaded guilty to 55 counts of animal cruelty. Oh, that was a terrible case that we had quite a few years ago. Pamela Burns, executive director of the Humane Society, says bills working through the legislature this year target large-scale dog breeders who have 20 or more breeding female dogs or 30 breeding dogs of either gender. But those that are keeping them in wire bottom cages do not provide them with adequate health care. They never get out to exercise. The females, females are bred over and over. That's what we've really got to stop. The puppy mill proposals set out minimum standards which include veterinary care, adequate space, um, and also being open to inspection during regular business hours to make sure those animals are being adequately cared for. Profiteers have put that single motivation before any other, including the welfare of dogs, welfare of puppies in particular. State Senator Clayton He represents the Kahalu'u area where that puppy mill was shut down five years ago. He says the Senate version of the puppy mill bill would allow the Humane Society immediate access to facilities for inspection. Right now, the society's investigators have to get a court order before entering a home. By the time they get a court order, the violation may have been fixed, such as sanitation issues. Now, animal advocates say puppies from some puppy mills are victims of inbreeding, so they suffer from medical conditions and birth defects that are not disclosed and not always evident when a family picks out a dog. Laura, back to you.